How's it going out there, YouTubers? Summer Nick Shark here with another new movie review for you. So let's get right into this review and see what I saw. A week ago today, I had the chance of checking out an awesome new movie that was in theaters that was just a real great pleasure and a really fun film. And that is the film I, Tanya. Now, if you're not familiar with what I, Tanya is, it's basically a story about Miss Tanya Harding. Uh, to give you just a little bit of an idea of what it's about. It's kind of about her life story a little bit. But this awesome film was just really well received, really well done, and it totally deserved all the credit it got. Now, this awesome film, which was superbly directed, and I love the style that it was directed in, was none other directed by Mr. Craig Gillespie. Now, Craig Gillespie has directed a couple other great films that I really enjoyed and thought were really decent and interesting films. One of them is actually a kind of like a satire slash drama comedy type of film love story. And that is the film Lars and the Real Girl. Now, if you're not familiar with Lars and the Real Girl, basically it's a, a movie about Ryan Gosling and how he has this relationship with this like life-size blow-up doll, basically, uh, that it, he considers his girlfriend and like his best friend, basically. And it's just an interesting love story slash, like, like I said, satire, kind of comedy dramedy. Uh, but just really well directed. Craig did a really good job with this. He really made a great film. Uh, it was very like heartwarming and funny and had some great moments in it. It was just a really well-rounded film. Another great film that he directed that I thought was really fantastic and just was a really fun film and I thought was a great remake, just a really well-done remake and just really you know surpassed the original. And that is the film Fright Night, which was a remake of the 1986 one uh, starring Chris Sarandon and so forth. Uh, but this awesome remake was directed by Mr. Craig Gillespie and it starred the awesome Anton Yelchin, who unfortunately passed away last year, and also uh, who it also starred the awesome Colin Farrell. Now this awesome remake it just was so well done. I mean it was so much almost exactly like the original. It was like so well, you know, preserved to make it very similar to the original and give it a whole new kind of like new era and kind of a new, you know, new time frame. And they just did a really good job with it. I really enjoyed it. Thought they did a really good job and just made a really awesome film. He, you know, directed the crap out of the film and made a really good remake. And I was really surprised. I wasn't sure if I was going to like that one as much as the original. But I did. I really liked it. And I'm so glad I actually have it in my collection, too. But with I, Tonya, he did a really awesome job. Like I said, I love how he presented the film, where basically the characters are talking to the camera and telling your, that you their side of the story, or, or this really didn't happen, or this what supposedly happened, and so forth. I really liked that element, too, and I thought that made the film really cool and fun. And made it really interesting, made it uh, superbly kind of funny, and just made a really well-rounded film. He did a really good job with it, and I can see why it was considered such a big, you know, success, and why it got certified rotten fresh. Now, this awesome film has a really awesome cast that I really enjoyed. Uh, just really great actors and actresses that just really perform and don't get enough recognition for how good of, you know, actors and actresses they are. And one of them, actually, just recently won an Oscar and her first no Oscar nom, too, as well, which is really awesome. To start off this awesome cast is none other than uh, the person that played Tonya Harding in the film, Miss Margot Robbie. Now, Margot Robbie, a lot of people, you know, recognize from a slew of films, uh, such as the new Tarzan film that came out a, a, a year ago and uh, has, you know, lent her talents to other films. Now, two that I really enjoyed her in, and I'm sure a few people else really enjoyed her in, such as the film, the awesome DC film, where she portrays an awesome and amazing villain that becomes kind of like an anti-hero, and that is the film Suicide Squad. Now, Suicide Squad, a lot of people thought it was dumb. A lot of people thought it was great. I thought it was an excellent film. I thought it was one of DC's better films they've put out to date. And Margot Robbie was just awesome as Harley Quinn. She played that role to the T. Her accent was down. She was dressed just like her. She was just really perfect at that role. And I couldn't picture anybody else playing that. And she really proved her acting chops in that film, I feel. 
Another film that she was really good in, and really made her popular, actually, is the fact that she was naked in the film. And that is the film The Wolf of Wall Street. Which, you know, just because she's naked in the film, I, I don't think that really defined her performance in the film. I thought she was actually pretty decent in the film, along with Leonardo DiCaprio and everyone else that was involved. Um, but at the same time, though, that movie really kind of shot her to stardom and gave us, you know, this new person, this Marco Robbie. But at the same time, I thought Wolf of Wall Street was a really awesome Scorsese film. And it was just a really interesting story to be told and kind of seeing, you know, what happened and what was involved. It was an interesting film. And Margot was really good in it. I really enjoyed her character. But in I, Tanya, I thought Margot Robbie did a good job of portraying Tanya Harding. She really didn't look like her, but at the same time, though, I thought she portrayed her very well. Gave her a whole new light for, you know, people of new ages and that don't really know much about, you know, Tanya Harding and what happened back in the 90s. And she just did a really good job. And she gave it a great portrayal, too. And just made it really interesting. Made it very, you know, point on and made it understandable, and I thought she did a really good job. We also have in the film, like I said before, an Oscar-nominated and Oscar winner herself, and she was just fantastic as, t you know, Tanya Harding's mother in the film, and that's Miss Allison Janney. Now, Allison Janney, we all recognize from a slew of shows like Mom. Uh, we also recognize her from a slew of films like bit parts that she's played and so forth, but Two that I think are some of her best roles and which I sh she should have gotten more recognition for were such films as the 1999 film, uh, the awesome film, starring the late great Heath Ledger, Ten Things I Hate About You. She was awesome as Miss Perky. She was so funny, so hilarious in it. Just really great job. I loved her character. She was just like so kind of like didn't care, did her own thing, and just, it was classic Alice and Janie, and I absolutely thought it was one of her best performances uh, to date, besides I, Tonya and the other movie I'm going to talk about. But another awesome film that she was in that I thought was really good, and I thought her performance was really excellent, was the awesome 2015 film starring Melissa McCarthy, Spy. Now, Spy is just a really fun, awesome film, and Alice and Janney's character as kind of like the commissioner of the spies, which is super hilarious, and some of her lines were just so perfect. Like, there's this one scene where she's like, do you have quarters? It takes quarters for this supposed face-off machine, and it just it was so perfect, and it was so perfect, Alice and Janney. And it just was, you know, super funny film, greatly directed by the awesome... Uh, Paul Fage, and just a really amazing film. Allison was awesome in it, absolutely loved her in it, and thought she did an amazing job in it too as well. But like I said, in I, Tanya, she was amazing as Tanya Harding's mom. She so deserved the Oscar she won for this role. She was so pitch perfect of that character, especially if you've seen her mom in actual documentaries. She um, she literally embodied Tanya Harding's mom and was so awesome and so good at it and just made a really fantastic film and just a great performance and totally deserving of her Oscar. And I was just I was so thrilled for her that she won her first Oscar nom and that she won for that role because she really deserved it and just was awesome in it. Really super awesome. If you haven't seen her in that, definitely check her out in this. It's so good. So good. To round out this awesome cast, we have none other than Mr. Winter Soldier himself, Mr. Sebastian Stan. Now, Sebastian Stan, like I said, we know him as Bucky Barnes in the original Captain America. But a couple films that I think are his best roles to date are none other than, of course, when he really first came out and became the Winter Soldier in the second awesome Captain America film, Captain America the Winter Soldier which he was just so super awesome in. I thought his whole bravado in the film was so awesome. His technique, his fighting, he just was super cool and really awesome. And you just kind of feel bad for, you know, Bucky. And, you know, not knowing what his fate was and that he was actually, you know, you know, alive and in crisis and stasis, kind of like, you know, Captain America was and, and stuff like that. But he was just, like, so awesome to Sebastian Stan. He just portrayed the Winter Soldier so well and you know, gave us a whole new light of who the Winter Soldier is, you know, through the comic books and give us a whole new interesting character that um, we really, you know, haven't seen on the big screen. 
Another great film that, he, you know, Sebastian Stan was in that I thought he was absolutely excellent in. Played a really good dirtbag and just kind of a really kind of good asshole. And that is the film starring the awesome Melissa Roche. The film The Bronze, which I think is an absolutely excellent film. Super funny, super hilarious. You know, gymnastics all involved in it, but just Militia Ranch was, like, so hilarious in it, playing this, like, ex-gymnast that, you know, is kind of training this gal now because she was going to be so big and so forth. Just a really interesting and funny film. But Sebastian Can Stan's character in the film, like I said, was just super hilarious. He played a really good asshole, really, you know, good, like, dickhead type of character. And he just was super hilarious, too, at the same time. He really brought to light a whole new character, so different from his Winter Soldier persona. And just, it really showed how talented he is. And I think he has great, you know, acting talent. And these two films I've been talking about really showed it. And... Also, in the awesome I, Tanya film, he once again proved his acting talent again, playing, uh, you know, Tanya Harding's uh, husband, ex-husband, slash, you know, guy that, you know, knocked out Nancy Kerrigan's knee, basically. You know, he played that weasel guy so well, too, and just was really awesome at it, and really portrayed the character, and made him, you know, come to light for people that didn't really know about that story or who you know really weren't aware of it when it happened back in 94 uh he just he was super good in it and i really enjoyed him in it i thought he did a really excellent job and just you know brought us a whole new light like i said to that character to that person and uh just made the film very entertaining now if you're not familiar with what i tanya's bar like I said earlier, it's basically a biopic about that whole incident, or basically about Tanya Harding's life from when she first started skating to what happened to her after uh, the whole Olympic scandal and her saying that she knew about it but wasn't participating in it, and you know basically where her life went from there. And basically, the whole movie chronicalizes you know those teen years, her early years, that you know whole time frame where she was trying to become number one in the world. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, ice skating was her life. And that's pretty much what the film basically goes and talks about, about all that th stuff that happened and with that ex-husband of hers, too, as well. It was just a really awesome and really well done, like, almost like documentary kind of pick. Uh, even though it was like a comedy uh, slash kind of dramedy, it, it just, it was a really well done, really well received. I, it deserves all the credit that he got for how good of a film it was. Uh, just really well-rounded film, and I really enjoyed it. Thought it was really excellent. I definitely give this one ten golden movie boxes up. Definitely deserves that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Worth the watch, people. So good, so excellent. Uh, just a well-rounded film, and uh, super superb. So yeah, definitely check that out, people. It's worth the watch. So that's it for this movie review, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, and also thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time here, or if you've been here before and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss one of these awesome videos I put up, or any of the awesome videos that I make. As always, keep your eyes out for any old or newer videos you might not have seen mine yet. And as always, check out that awesome link down about the awesome horror pack. Now, Horror Pack is an awesome subscription service that comes right to your door every month of awesome horror films. Now, you can either get it in DVD format or Blu-ray format, and each box contains an awesome limited edition you can't get anywhere else. So if you, that's something that interests you, let me know down in the comments so I can hook you up with a discount on your first month if you end up deciding to get it. And also, please, check out the awesome app in the either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store the awesome app called Stardust. Now, Stardust is an awesome little app that you can get right on your phone and follow people or, you know, just watch people's 30 to 30 second reactions about movies they've just seen. It's a really cool app. And if you join and stuff like that and you check out these awesome apps, you know, it's, it's just another entertainment way, like especially if you're a big fan of watching YouTube videos. What better way to get some more entertainment out of it? Of other films maybe that that YouTuber hasn't made videos of yet. So check that out, definitely. You know, download the app and then follow me at Cyberneg Shark as well. That's uh, a great app, people. Really fun. You definitely check it out. It's so much fun, people. Cyber Cybernetic Shark, and it's called Stardust. Really awesome app, people. And as always, catch you next one.